it guys welcome to my home studio my name is Kelly and on my channel I like to share planner videos art videos crafts mixed media recipes DIYs happy meal and hauls and sometimes I will throw in a lifestyle video so and when I say lifestyle video like I did the full how to manicure at home last year 2018 when I first started doing videos and I had to make it in three different videos at the time and it was fun I talked a lot of story I did a lot of editing to that video but in any event that is what I mean by lifestyle videos because I am totally into makeup and skincare as well. I just don't share that often on my YouTube channel. Um, I like to do my own facials and things of that nature. And I have all the accoutrement, as it were, that goes along with that. So, I haven't done my facial in quite some time, actually. I'm way overdue for one. I used to go to Saks, Bloomies, Neiman Marcus, because they'll give you a free facial. You just make an appointment, you get a free facial, and all you have to do is buy a product, you know, or whatever. Like, for instance, Sicily. I bought a ton of Sicily stuff several years back, and from Saks, and... So the gal was like, let's schedule, would you like to schedule a facial? And I was like, sure, let's schedule one. And so we did. In any event, if any of that sounds appealing to you, I hope you do consider subscribing to my channel. So this is in fact actually a planner video. And this beauty, which I love, is my chocolate teddy. Okay, it is just like a teddy bear. Jojo likened it to Fozzie from... The Muppets. Waka waka, as it were. <laughs> and Fur Fur and I, at least, let's see, two and a half, three years ago, I introduced him to the Muppets. And so, one of the movies is The Muppets Take Manhattan. And at the beginning of the scene of that movie, after the song... I think his name is Animal. He's like eating the little, because it goes like this and then it closes at the beginning of the scene and he's eating that little portion um, <laughs> of the scene. It's very cute. The Muppets Take Manhattan. I mean, it's an 80s movie, you know. So I had introduced him to that and he loves the Muppets, as it were. So And so does his father. So that is something that they can share. And I can share in my memory. So, because when you're around someone a long time, you very much so influence them. Now, from year, like 20 years from now, they're going to think back on these things that I taught them. And not all the kids will remember because they were like babies. But some will. And I am the one who showed them many, many things. And like Ange, this one right here, when she was a baby, when she was about this age, she would always tell me, tell me baby stories. And she makes her lips, like when I talk, kid talk as it were, I make my lips big. I always have. And when I give kisses, I make my lips like really big. And then I give a big kiss. And that's how she does it, because she always emulated me. And she would always say, tell me baby stories. And, you know, some of the stories, I'm the only one who knows them, you know. Now, some of the other siblings, like her big sister, Hal, Hallie Girl, she knows because she was right there, too. So when I tell the story, she'll chime in and they like to remember this and I love reminiscing. I just do. And it's amazing how children 
already from like one to two years old, she started doing that. Tell me baby stories. And we look at all the pictures on my phones. And I say phones because I could not carry just one phone because I always had to have a spare for the kids. Even though they have their own phones. they Because I have my playlists and all my pictures on my phones and, and, and videos and all that. And they know that. So, um, <laughs> some of the stories only I know. And I cherish all of those memories very fondly. So... <laughs> There's that. I am so sentimental. I have their artwork up in my room here, in my studio. My transformed bedroom, I made it into a studio. And whenever they would come over, they make a beeline. They don't ask. They just, unless they have to go potty. They make a pit stop into the master bathroom first, and then they make a beeline up the stairs <laughs> to my studio. And they know they're going to get something, you know, because I'm very generous. I'm not... They want something, it's theirs, whatever they want, because that's just how I am, especially with them. So anyway, there's that. So that is what came to my mind based on the comment that Jojo made about this looking like Fauzi, because I remember Furfur and I sitting on the couch in the living room at their house, watching that on my phone. And their daddy, his daddy came out and he was more than happy that Furfur loves the Muppets because obviously he did as well. So in any event, that is like the same thing of me introducing them to Crunchberries and they love Crunchberries. I mean, when I would come over, I'd bring a huge bag, baggie full of Crunchberries or when we're FaceTiming, um, when we would FaceTime, we would always do that. Um, they would make my husband show them my personal Crunchberries box of cereal, you know, because kids love that. They like to look at that. And I like saying Crunchberries. <laughs> um, and Crunchberries is how I named our first cat. Like, her name was Miss Tootleberry Baby, and that always made me think makes me think of crunch berries tootleberry baby it's tootleberry baby anyway so but my planner is name his name is not fauzi no 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 it is gus and gus was the chubby little mouse and he had his friend I did, I, for the life of me i do not know what the name of the sidekick is now there was a whole bunch of mice and that is from cinderella and Gus, his shirt would come over his little belly. And I have these two little characters that are theirs that I have. Um, Gus and his sidekick. And they are right by my bed. Um, anyway, his name is Gus. So there's that. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm going to do a planner video. That is my segue into it. Um, in my Hobonichi Weeks with Gus. <clears throat> And I've already done a flip through. I set this up. And I am using this year for my main squeeze, as it were, the gingham plaid planner. Okay? And it has little aqua, below, aqua bows with gold in the middle. So cute. Okay? And let's see. Where are we? Okay, we are going to do the week of January the 6th through January the 12th. And I filled out a couple of things to help me out. And I will pull out one more thing here to help me out. And this is just a Tim Holtz craft mat. Whoa, Daddy. And... I'm going to do some stamping in this because I want to. I used to always do stamping. At the beginning of last year, I think, I did a lot of stamping like this in this planner. Um, 
So I have my trusty stays on ink and I'm glad I've introduced this to people Paint for me because then like I can free up my stamp blocks so I don't have to hold them hostage because normally, whoa, this one is the one I would always just keep it on. This Fiskars. This is from Joann's, by the way. They sell this in a pack of five. It's always on sale. Plus, you can get an additional 20% off if you're interested. Just FYI. But, you don't need any of that if you don't want to. This one is from scrapbook.com. Catherine Pooler, I think her name is, designed that. Anyway. Um, so, because I made this out of, I laminated these. So, and I put it on on a ring and I have what are those called fasteners eyelets eyelets okay so the ones that I use the most that's how I roll it's just easier for me okay and then I pulled out a Kuratake Futabiori and this one is lavender. And I also pulled out this good old Crayola. This end is gray. It's not a brush pen on this side. But this side is, as you can see, a Crayola brush marker. And these came out, I want to say at least two years ago. And they were sold... Or probably, and they are sold at Staples and at Target because they had different sets at both locations, at both different stores. And some had repeats. And anyway, I bought like three sets of these because they had just different ones, and I keep them right here. These are also Crayola. These are my super tips. Okay, and then over here, these are my chubby regular Crayolas that I've been using forever. As I'm sure a lot of you guys have to do too. Okay, so I have a pencil board down right here. Let's just get into it, shall we? Let's do some stamping first. Okay. And this is what I'm going to do. So you see how handy this is? And I just leave these on here because I use them so often. And I'm super happy that I don't have to change. I mean, I don't have to hold my other stamp block hostage anymore. Now, it's been a while. This is the first time I'm using it in this setup. So hopefully it's on there right. We'll find out momentarily, won't we? Can you see? Yeah, okay. I am just going to hopefully place that right. Hold it down and hopefully get a good image. It's hit or miss. I'm no expert at any of this. I don't have a PhD from Harvard in stamping. Awesome. It worked. Yay. Go me. <laughs> um... And then, which one is it? I'm going to have to switch that out, I think. That one says the details. I'm going to switch that right spanking now. Because since I use these regularly and often in these sections, that way I don't have to think about it or read it. I just know. The side with the manicure has this particular sticker and the side, this is empty here, without, oh lord, I don't know which direction it's in. Oh dear. Right, Ange? Oh dear. And I'm gonna just see. Okay, cool. I did it right. Um, I'm going to 
hopefully I'll get enough go-go juice on here. You just want to eat that stays on. You know you do. It smells good. Okay, that's a little wonky. See, I'm no expert. But that says weather. Let's get close up and personal. So it didn't come out that right, but that good, but... You know, that's okay. Now I do, oh, there's glitter in here. Of course there is. Um, now I do my nails often myself. So I'm just putting them right there. Okay. And I clean these off a little just so I don't get it all over everything else. And just slip it right back on and put it in the spot. And I still haven't hooked up the command hook, but I will eventually. I spent some time putting my new kit from Allie, my kits from Allie Edwards away today. See, I do that all the time and I keep things tidy because if I get sick or something then I know at least I'll have the energy to come up and get something easily, relatively speaking, and then do what I can if I have to do something while I'm in bed or whatever. But anyway, okay, let's play with this one. Um, the Crayola. Now, I've never hand lettered with this. I've used it. But I've never hand lettered with it, so I'm going to try it. It is a hand lettering pen, after all. Whoa. All right. I can't talk during this portion, though. And that's supposed to be black, but it looks gray. Okay. This is actually a little dried out now. All right. So I have another one. Let's see if that one, I think it's exactly the same since I bought three different sets. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see if this one works any better. Oh no, this is, see, this is a different tip. See that? That tip is different. Um, that one's the same as that one. I think this is it. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully... This one is the same like this one. Hopefully it's juicier. Yeah. Oh, wow. It sure is. I'm holding it too close to the barrel. go over this one. Okay. Can you see what I wrote there? At last! Because it's the weekend. And then three little dots. Okay. <laughs> That's cute. I like it. All right. Now. 
Okay, and then this at last, in my mind's eye, it's from that song that Nat King Cole's daughter opens. And she says, at last. She sings, at last. Yeah, I'm not going to sing that. Um, I can do it. Man, can I belt that out. Good. As it were. I'm a good singer. But, um, yeah, not doing that today. Not in the mood to share and be vulnerable in that way. I have in the past. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, I'm going to use my Fudabiori over on this side. And let's see. What am I going to write here? Not just do. I'm going to write this. And I can't talk during this, so. Plans. And I love doing that bouncy business. That really does it for me. I like it. And as always, I will mention Jojo Zahana here on YouTube has a hand lettering course and it is a course, a workshop, a series on how to hand letter from start to finish. Okay? And I love it. That's how I learned. So, that says plans. How fun. Okay? And then I pulled out this Crayola. And this is called Graphic Green. Talking about all these Crayolas makes me want to use it. So, I'm just going to come in here and draw a couple of flowers. And they're going to be graphic green flowers, as it were. Stem and leaves and all. Cute. And I do like to go over my flowers a second time. I gotta get rid of that. And my artwork tends to be more of a childlike perspective. And that is how I like it. And I like also like abstract. So whatever you like doing, whatever your style is, go for it. And don't let anyone impede you from it. Because there's nothing wrong with that. I like it. It's endearing. I think it's darling. And I, I don't know. For me, it just shows my heart and what kind of heart I have in that way. That's what I always think. So that is totally elemental, but I love it. It's cute, you know. So I'm just going to draw a couple more and then I'll bring you folks back. Okay, so I have gone ahead and used this graphic green, and I made this little focus. 
there it goes little scallops all the way around I think that's super precious and so I pulled out my eco twisby because I want to use this color that's in here and hey uh oh I'm batting a thousand people there we go my seashell I don't not want this to break I've had this for so many years so okay so I pulled out my green twisby eco I'm not gonna post it and I'm just going to write out oh but first coffee no <laughs> first I want to get these these are made by Zig they're the Koratake clean color dot markers let's just make some bullet points shall we what color should we do I like to mix and match things quite a bit actually as it were so let's pull out this like aqua blue that's super light I think that'll be nice and I'm gonna make some dots some bullet points for my list making okay this is super fun I like doing it it's very beautiful very light okay And I'm just going to use my regular handwriting, not hand lettering. I want to work on my one little word and I have a medium nib in this. Twisby, this, this is the transparent green Twisby Eco. So. And then um, actually plan out some video ideas. And I don't know what the weather is yet. I will look that up and fill it in because I want to know. It's the weather is always crazy. Sometimes it'll be like 22, it'll drop to 22, and then the next day it'll be 48 or 55 or whatever it is 52 high, a high of 52. So I want to plan that out accordingly. So I don't. I can prevent getting sick by wearing the appropriate clothes. Um, now my manicure box came down a little bit, but I have still have room because I can write super duper uber teeny tiny using the a pen. These high tech, not high tech. See, they're high tech pens like this, but they have a 0 0.25 nib. I'll just show you. So see how tiny that is? So I can fit that in there and then put a little dab of what nail polish color I'm using. So um, anyway, okay. And then I want, what else was I gonna do? Oh yeah. Uh, 
add charms to planners. And I mean, you have to light this on fire with your candle lighter, these bookmarks, because you can see I'm keeping trying to keep them in there so they don't, they will split all the way down to prevent that. Or you can paint it with fingernail polish. Um, but I'm going to light it on fire. <laughs> I didn't, I'm going to take it out of this when I do it because I do not want Gus going up in flames. No, no, no. So I want to do that. And I have, um, let's see, three open HU weeks and that come with these strings. So I want to really do that for all three and just add hopefully little charms to them. Okay, and I think that's all I'm gonna put on there for now. Um, that I can share online, that is, and go from there. Because I usually don't plan online in my videos, so. There's that little ditty. Okay, this is short and sweet, hopefully short. And I think it turned out cute. Simple. Nothing is complicated here. You can be as creative as you want in a simple way or an extravagant way as you like. And whatever works for you. So... This is the final look, and I've already watercolored this using the Paul Rubens watercolor, but I think that is very, very simple. I didn't use any stickers or anything, and I did my stamping. The weather, the weather one, eh, that didn't, that stamp didn't turn out as well as I would have liked, but I'm liking my hand lettering the best, and then my little doodles of little simple little flowers, so... There it is, the final look. Does it work? Very simple and very cute. All right, guys, that is my share of the day. I hope you enjoyed this little segment of me being chatty. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what simple thing you like to do in your planners. I would love to know. So... If you liked what you saw, I hope you do consider subscribing to my channel, and I wish you folks a very beautiful day. Peace out.